How? How did we lose? We are superior in every way, but still we were defeated. We did it. We won. We beat them. But have we really won? Uh, I don't know. We did fail to stop them from lighting the lighthouse. Even though we couldn't stop the beacon from being lit? What are you talking about? We did everything we could. Sure, we couldn't save the Venus Lighthouse, but... We beat them. They're gone. You saw them fall down into the pit. So we don't have to worry about any more beacons being lit. But Felix is gone, and he's taken Sheba. Oh. What's wrong with you guys? Isaac, what are you looking at? Felix! Did you finish them? No one knew their power better than I did. If you destroyed them... Then I'm no match for you now, Isaac. I must go. Come on, Sheba. Wait, Felix! Why do you run from us? They fell into the lighthouse. It's all over. Poor fools. If you think it's over, you are sadly mistaken. If you plan to light the other beacons, you will still need... The elemental stars? We have them. They're gone, Felix. You don't have to light the beacons anymore. Yes, I do. If I don't light the beacons... What will happen? It's no use talking about it. Just wait and see. If you won't release Sheba, we'll have to take her back. Oh. Oh, jeez. Um. Whoa. Well, that happened. The lighthouse. Isaac, they're too far away. We can't reach Felix. That's not all. There's light coming from down below. Oh. No! Sheba! Huh? Oh god. Hold on, Sheba. Take my hand. I can't. You must try. If you don't, you'll fall. Look down! The foundations of the lighthouse are crumbling! Oh god... Why is this happening? Is it to protect Venus Lighthouse? I'm slipping! I can't hold on any longer! No! Don't let go! You can't! You'll... Goodbye, Felix. And thank you. Oh god. Sheba! No! I won't let you die! Oh god. No <laughs> the one time Isaac talks, and it's like exclamation point. Sheba fell after that last tremor. Felix didn't dive into the sea after her, did he? I can't believe he did that from so high up. Oh, man. You idiot, Felix. I can't believe he said he'd light the other beacons. We would have had to fight him if this hadn't happened. But he sacrificed himself to save Shiva. He's not like Saturus. I'm at a loss, Isaac. We have to decide what to do next. What to do? What can we do? What about Jenna and the others at Iwo Jima? Oh yeah, I completely forgot about Jenna. Isaac, listen up. We've got to find Jenna. Look at that. 
Isaac has finally come to his senses. Shouldn't we go find Jenna and the others right away? Yeah. It's about time you started agreeing with me. Isaac, you'll have to tell Jenna about Felix. I know it will be hard, but you'll be there to comfort her. Oh, man. What's the matter, Garrett? I was just thinking, how the heck are we gonna? Are we supposed to get down? Good point. This is going to make leaving very difficult. Oh. Oh, it's fixing itself. It's back to normal. That was odd. What's going on around here? I don't think we'll ever know. At least now, we can go search for Jenna and the others. Alright, let's go, Isaac. It's time to find Jenna. Oh boy. But despite a long and tiring search, Jenna was nowhere to be found. Oh my. How did the search for Sheba turn out? We were unable to find any sign of her. The seas are too rough to search. And there's no sign of her on land. Toby is responsible for Sheba's fate. No apology can reflect the sorrow I feel at your loss, Farron. All we can do for Sheba now is hope. But tell me, what of Jenna and the others? The same. We've searched all over, but they're nowhere to be found. The ground tore apart from the shock of the lighthouse in the ship. Apparently, everything at Ida Jima, including the ship, was swept away. So Ida Jima itself was washed out to sea. So in case you guys don't know what they're talking about, they're talking about that little island that I pointed out. Um, yeah, it tore off the land. Washed out to sea, yes. Incredible. Then the cave too has been flooded. But we think Jenna and the others are still alive. They may have been washed out to sea with Ida Jima. We have decided to continue searching for Jenna. Haven't we, Isaac? Yeah. Do not worry about Shiva. I just hope you are able to find Jenna. We will find Shiva without fail. Shiva has been in dangerous situations before and lived. But this time, I believe it was nothing short of a miracle. Who knew the sea would rise up to the lighthouse just as she fell? Can you really call that a miracle? Do you think it was just good luck? Let's call it mere coincidence for now. Nothing is coincidental, not when it comes to this child. So you believe Sheba survived? Yes, I am sure of it. Just because Sheba was an adept? An adept? What is that? Well, it's... It's someone with abilities like theirs. Isaac, you and your friends are truly amazing. You were able to enter the ancient ruins and get to Venus Lighthouse. But Sheba was different. She couldn't enter the ruins. That's just because Sheba's abilities are different from theirs. No matter how many times I explain that to Farron, he doesn't get it. <laughs> Garrett, don't be rude. Unfortunately, we don't have time to talk. We've got to go. That's right. I didn't mean to keep you. That didn't come out right. We mean that while we're talking, Jen and the others are lost at sea. Ah, oh, he's right. 
I understand a desire to leave as soon as possible. The seas have been very rough since the beacon was lit. Be careful. You too, farewell. Yeah, stuttering now. <laughs> Take care, and farewell. Thank you very much. I hope your search for Shiba yields success. Okay. Well, there we go. Please wait for me outside Farron's house. I wish to speak with you. Got it. Okay. So, welcome to this half of the finale. Um, I'm recording this all in one thing. So, one second, guys. Okay, sorry. It was just uh, starting a thing just in case it wants to corrupt on me. But, um, yeah. So, basically, we're just going to be going around preparing for the end now. Where are you going, Isaac? Iodin asked us, asked us to wait. Did you forget? Um, uh, no. I know we need to leave, but we should hear what Iodin has to say. We could delay our departure a little longer. Let's wait. Okay. Thank you for waiting for me. As you no doubt have guessed, I need to speak with you about Lemuria. Yes, the island of the ancients, far out to sea. When you could not find Jenna, you returned to the Venus Lighthouse. Yeah, the base of the lighthouse was flooded, so we couldn't get out. And that's when you gazed out to sea, as you promised Bobby you would. Yes, and we saw an area wrapped in mist. I remembered how Bobby said Lemuria was always covered in mist. I am not sure, but I am beginning to think that may be Lemuria. If it is, then Bobby's life... Could be saved? Yes. Then I guess we have no choice but to go. Yeah, I guess. Good, then it's settled. I'll make arrangements for you two to leave at once. But we have to find Jenna first. That is the other reason I wanted to see you. To give you this. Item takes out the black orb. Oh, isn't that? You will need it to sail Bobby's ship. I thought the ship we saw at Itajima was Bobby's. His ship is here in Lalavero. So the ship at the peninsula was Satros' ship. Perhaps, but we have no way of finding that out now. Yes, they're gone. But now we can sail the ship of the Ancients. It certainly will aid us in our search for Jenna. Bobby told me the Ship of the Ancients is an incredible vessel. It will make your search for Jenna easier. We appreciate it. But I want you to find Lemuria as soon as possible. We promised Bobby we would find Lemuria. We will not fail him. Okay, here we are, we got the Black Orb. The ship is docked at the edge of town. You will know it when you see it. Farewell, and bring back news of Lemuria. Okay, well there we go. Right on, Isaac. We finally get to see the ocean. To see we go. It is time to depart. Okay. First things first, though, I'm gonna drink some water. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, this has been a long recording session with a lot of talking. Um, so basically, what I would advise you guys to do for this last bit, because you can't leave. Um, they will stop you. Um, where are you going? Aren't we taking Bobby's ship? Then we should head to the to that wharf the soldier in town was guarding. Right. So if you try to leave town, um, you can't. The game won't let you. Um, that's because this whole section of the game right here is just uh, preparing for, um, you know, the second game, so, um, yeah. Anyway, um, let's just make sure that I have a bunch of items that I want. Um, hmm. 
think I'm gonna sell the stupid Aqua Sock Sword just because I think that's a really dumb release. Um, okay. So where is it? Silver Blade, sell. Okay, and this... Um... I'll, I'll, I'll sell that. Yep. Okay. And there we go. Um, alright. Let's go over here. Um, I'm gonna buy a certain item that, I mean, I'm probably not gonna need later, but I'm gonna get it anyway just because I really freaking like this weapon. Um, yep. Okay. And the game ticket will go to Garrett. Alright, and, uh, with that, I think that's about all I really cared to get. Um, if you guys really want to prepare and stuff, there is, like, a transfer thing, and, uh, when that will be important, um, I'm not gonna spoil. Just let you know, there is a transfer thing, so if you want to, like, just bring all of your best gear, um, this is the time to make sure that you have everything, okay? And generally, all the big major items that you sell will show up in that shop, so, yeah, anyway, let's just go into the wharf here. I was told to let you in if you showed up. The door is open. Okay, here we go. Woo! Oh man, look at all that water. I like how that water looks. It actually is very pretty. Oh, Lemurian ship with this music again. Uh, this music just gets me nostalgic every time. Hang on one second. Let me get some more water. Ugh. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Woo! Let's use the black orb. Of course we had the puzzle solving noise. <laughs> Looks like it's finally time to leave Gondawan. It's so strange. We've been traveling for so long. And yet it feels like we've only just begun. Now that I think about it, so many things have happened. But our journey will be over as soon as we find Jenna, right? Yeah. The end of one journey, but the beginning of another? No way. You didn't forget, did you, Garrett? I promised to Bobby. Oh, Lemuria. I wonder what kind of place Lemuria is. We have to find Jenna before going to Lemuria, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, that's important. At any rate, this will be our first time on the ocean. So this is the ocean Kraden wanted me to see. The seas are very rough. Do you think we will be okay? Yeah. Yeah, we got this. We got this, right guys? This is the Lemurian ship. We'll be fine. Well, shall we then? Yeah, let's do this. To see. Jenna is waiting for us. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> and there's the theme song. Oh man, guys. Woo! I did it! We did it! Woo! Okay. So that was Golden Sun. Oh man. It is kind of exhausting to record this series, mainly on the basis of how word-heavy this is, but um, I think now is a good time for me to really talk about my thoughts of this game and how it might have actually kind of changed since my first playthrough. Um, this game, to begin with, and I'm going to start with like the most positive aspects is the visuals. Um, now it may not hold up very much, but like this is the most well done graphics like you could have on the Game Boy Advance. Like, this breaks the system straight up to like yesterday. It's just nothing, it's, it's nothing to Paris. Um, and that also goes to the sound quality. In fact, one of my favorite things about this series 
is uh, Motoi Sakuraba's um, score for it. It's just such good music that doesn't sound very choppy for like a Game Boy Advance game, and that's one thing I love. The sound effects are very nice and sound good, and that's more than I could say for like 90% of Game Boy Advance games. And there's a lot going on in a lot of them, like particularly Satros' theme and um, the Venus Lighthouse music are just, and the final boss theme are just some of the best pieces of music like that I've heard on the Game Boy Advance. Um, so that said, on to some of the more negative aspects is that, I mean, this game doesn't really do that much different as far as RPGs go in terms of gameplay mechanics. Um, it is very traditional in its turn-based combat style, uh, so if you happen to not like that or if you're sick of that, um, you might have some problems with uh, this game. But um, in terms of its story, I feel it's pretty solid Like for a Game Boy Advance game. It has a lot of uh, stuff going on, and it's definitely a part one of the adventure, because the second game picks up pretty close to where this one ended, and uh, just continues the plot. So, um, definitely, there's kind of a grand plan, which is something that I really do like with this series, and I'll get more into that with uh, the second game, but it it is a really good game here, and I honestly can't recommend it enough. It is really fun. Um, the puzzles in it, admittedly, are kind of basic, especially after playing the other two games, because uh, Dark Dawn and Lost Age have a much larger variety of puzzles in this game. Um, random encounters can be a little more annoying than others just because of having to like toggle between puzzle solving and um, the enemy fights, but I don't think it's really handled that badly, and the fact that they have something that's kind of like a repel makes it better. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna have to end off kind of quick, because one thing is that this is still one of my favorite games, and I and it hurts me to know that so few people know about this series, but um, I hope I've gotten to show you guys why I like it, and maybe you'll go and get a copy. I don't know. Um, but I'll be starting Golden Sun 2 soon, so look forward to that, and I'll see you in another video. Alright. So let's let this roll. <laughs> Save my adventure? Okay, let's do it. Save. Um, okay, I'm gonna save there. Alright. So anyway, I thank you guys for tuning in, and um, let's do this. Oh wait, there's actually one more thing. <laughs> oh, Creighton, how long will this island continue to drift? I don't know. I wish you could tell me. Jeez, you're no help in times like this. <laughs> hey, I'm hungry. <laughs> How can you think about food? <laughs> I wonder what happened to my brother. I can't be certain, but it looks like they lit the Venus beacon. You don't have to tell me that. That's how we wound up adrift at sea, right? You are so cranky today, Jenna. Well, I suppose you must be worried about Felix. Isaac and his friends must have been nearby too. They probably were. I miss them. Isaac, Felix. Mm. Oh. Hey, Alex. We forgot about you. There is something I wish to show you. Walk this way. Felix! Shiva! Felix! Shiva! Oh man. They're... they're alive! They're alive! What is this? Alex, what happened? Oh man. To be continued. So yep, I'll see you guys in Golden Sun 2, and uh, one bonus part, maybe two. Um, but yeah, either way, I thank you guys for tuning into this, and I'll see you in another series.
All right. Hope you guys have a great day. Mm, bye.